Hey there, my name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explained. Now, if you have a Raspberry Pi Pico, and I'd ask, why don't you have one at only $4, four euros? You should definitely get one to start playing around with microcontrollers. But if you do have one, it has a very important button on it called Boot Cell, Boot Select, which allows you to switch how the device is booted when you power it up. Now, occasionally those Boot Select buttons break, and that almost renders your Raspberry Pi Pico as useless. And it recently happened to me, I had the button break on a little board, and I thought, does that mean I have to throw it away, buy another one, or is there a way to repair it? Well, the good news is there is a way to repair it. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. So trying to repair the actual button itself is probably impossible. Very fiddly bit. Once a bit of plastic has broken off in there, you just really can't put it back together. Now there are also some software solutions. You can use MicroPython to actually force the device to boot up into the boot select mode over the USB. But the problem I found with that is I got myself stuck in a boot loop. I couldn't get out of it because the program that was on the MicroPython just kept booting it up into that all of the time. So I wouldn't recommend that uh, path if you can avoid it. Instead, it's better to do it using a, a hardware solution. Now, the good news is on the underside of the Raspberry Pi Pico are some test points. And you'll see there towards the top, TP4, TP5, and TP6. Now, TP6 is actually connected to that boot select button. And if TP6 is connected to ground at the moment you boot it up, you'll actually, it's the same as if you pressed the boot select button. So the first step is to flip your board over and to solder a wire onto that test point. Now my soldering isn't the best in the world, so please uh, do forgive the ugliness of this solder joint. Now once you've done that, you can pop it into a, uh, into a breadboard and then you can connect pin number three. If you look at the pinout, you can see that pin number three on the Raspberry Pi Pico is ground. You connect that to the ground rail, the negative rail on your uh, breakout board, on your breadboard. And then if you just pop the wire that you've sold onto TP6 into the ground when you boot it up, it will boot up the same as if you pressed the boot select button. Now it's also actually possible to put your own little button on the breadboard and then what you do is you put it on one side of the connector and the other side of the button connector you connect to ground and now you've basically repaired it on that breadboard so when you press the button and then you power it up it will be in boot select mode. And of course you can add a second button as well if you want to have a reset and now you can actually be doing kind of you know a reset with a with a boot select and all that kind of stuff and get it into any mode you want. Okay, so I hope you're able to follow those instructions. I hope that was easy enough, and I hope that saves you having to throw away a board that you thought maybe was broken. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I also made a short version, a YouTube shorts version of this, so do go and check that out and tell me whether you think I should be making more shorts videos with very small uh, tips in them about Linux, about Raspberry Pis, about uh, you know uh, microcontrollers, about PCs, about anything that I cover. Tell me whether you think short videos would also be useful. If you like this kind of stuff, please do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget you can also follow me on Twitter at Gary Explained and I have a monthly newsletter. Go to GaryExplained.com, type in your email address. You won't get any spam but you will get the newsletter. Okay that's it. I'll see you in the next one.